Hi guys, this is Sam Daniel with the Music Tribe Academy, and today we're going to talk about a topic that is commonly asked of our tech support team, which is the preamp signal flow of a Bugera tube amp. So let's get started. <laughs> One of the many advantages of using a tube amplifier is the ability to alter the amp's character by changing the tubes. So if you're looking to alter the sound of your amp and fine tune it to suit your own personal taste or playing style, then changing the preamp tubes to affect the gain staging would be an effective way to accomplish that goal. This means that having an understanding of the amp's signal flow through the preamp tubes will help greatly when trying to create the tone you are looking to achieve. Please note that due to the potential for high voltage electric shock, it is highly recommended to refer all maintenance to a qualified service technician. For today's subject, we will talk about the V22 Infinium, which is a 22 watt Class A tube guitar amp. The V22 Infinium will contain three 12AX7 preamp tubes. The first two preamp tubes will handle the gain staging, while the third preamp tube, which is known as the phase inverter, will be used to split the preamplified signal into two output signals. So let's take a look at the signal flow. Now, it's important to understand that each 12EX7 tube has two sides or gain stages, uh, which we will describe as A and B. The clean channel will use the A side of the first preamp tube and the B side of the second preamp tube. The signal will then finish through both sides of the third preamp tube, which is the phase inverter. When the crunch channel is selected, the B side of the first preamp tube and the A side of the second preamp tube will be included into the signal flow. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any comments or suggestions for future topics, then please comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.